So I am going to be making a video series on making this uh, robot. The robot is going to be made from this Radio Shack flashlight that my wife found at the dump. We actually got it for free here in Hawaii. So what I've done so far is I drilled some holes on the sides where the uh, uh, wheels are going to go. And this little arm right here is going to have a motor on the inside. So the uh, arm can, so he'll walk, go along like this, and you can, I don't know, maybe hold something and lift it. But also, if he falls over, he'll be able to do this and uh, lift himself up and keep walking. So right in there, I have a motor for the uh, one of the side wheels. And then I got the other one in on the other side. And right there on the bottom are four wood screws that I'm using to hold the motors in. I'll show you how those are in there. I got those two motors from the website pololu.com. I've had them for a while and I've had no use for them until now. Before I was actually going to try using these two motors I got from an old uh, VCR. But I found out there's no gearbox on these. Well obviously there's no gearbox but I found out that it doesn't work very well without a gearbox. It has almost no torque. I have the motor mounted to a small block of wood on each side using screws and then I used some glue to hold it in place and I let that dry and once that dried I used glue because I had to perfectly place these motors so these shafts are perfectly perpendicular to this uh, flashlight body and it was pretty tough because it's a round body so I don't have a flat uh, wall like you usually do on a robot. I can't push it all the way on or it's going to hit the side of the body. It's about there. It's good. And the other wheel. I also got these from Plolu. I was having Tons of trouble trying to get my own wheels on there. I got these from a scrap uh, remote control. I got free at a junkyard. And this was driving me crazy. I was trying to create a custom hub that would fit onto this shaft, which I cut using a Dremel. I have, I think it's four millimeters. So that's a four millimeter hole. The challenge was getting that hole perfectly centered with that hole which isn't the same diameter so that was supposed to fit on there and then this motor shaft which is I think three millimeters fits nice and snug in there and then I have my my wheel with that custom hub I did but as you can see the wheel is going crooked because I don't have the right tools to make this perfect go and then this is his helmet which is probably going to be lit up with LEDs somehow. I'm going to have LEDs on the bottom. I'm going to have it where while he's driving you get a bright light below him. He's just driving along. I might have to put some weight back here so he's always leaning this way, especially when I have this arm on here and he's always going to be having his arms forward. So you can hand him something, put something on there, you can take it somewhere and the problem is that when you put something on there He's going to move forward, and these are going to move forward. So I'm actually thinking about putting the wheel up here, so when he does lean forward, he is standing straight. But by default, he's always leaning backwards. I don't want to call him Radio Shack, but I am going to leave that on there, as well as that sticker. I want to keep the flashlight as original as possible. Anyway, thanks for watching again.